What's up? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lion Rider here. It's a hot day here in New York City, man. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about what happened to me this weekend. It's, it's not even bad. It's a good thing. Um, we went out to uh, NYST, which is a New York uh, New York safety um, track in upstate New York. I forgot the name of the town, man. I'm so bummed out right now. But anyhow, uh, the bad thing that happened was that I did a firmware to my little. Uh, SJ7000. I have five years with this bad boy. Five long, good years. Using that my motorcycle most of the time and, you know, why not? You know, beautiful 1080 um, film. And the audio was pretty good. It wasn't terrible, not too long, not too noisy, whatever. It was just good. But the, the footage was awesome. 1080p. Okay, I got it for like 37 bucks five years ago. And it's dead, okay? It, it's completely dead. I did a firmware update and killed it. Won't even turn on no more. I mean, the light will turn on. That's about it. Let me show you what happened. Look, I click it. Look, a little light turned on. It's not supposed to turn on until like the screen turns on. So even if, if and then if I press it, like hold it down for three seconds. See, come on, shut off. It's supposed to shut off. There you go. It's it's, it's dead, bro. It's battery still in there. It's I killed my camera. I ordered a new one. A uh, castle. No, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't say a castle. I forgot what brand I ordered. But I ordered a new one. Uh, don't worry about what. When I get it, I'll show you guys and I'll make videos with it. But yeah, I killed it. So we're here to talk about what happened to me this week. Okay. This is what happened. This is my number one camera. My 70, 7070. Okay. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, you should get a full frame. I'm not into full frames. Okay. It's all about the glass. Remember that. The glass is what's going to give you sharp, beautiful images in how you use the camera. So that's, we're not here to talk about that either. So what happens is, I was using these batteries, which I want to recommend to everybody out there, which is called a Castar, okay? I was using two of these. These are 1300 milliamps, milli 1300. Right now I'm using the Castar and, and the Canon one because that's basically what I'm using now because the other two Castars are put into recharge. So I bought three of them, okay, for like 15 bucks, I think it was, maybe 17, something like that, like over a year ago about a year year and a half somewhere around there when i got this camera okay and i shot 1130 film uh, pictures okay and it still said i still have halfway so i recharged those batteries okay they're right here in my backpack i recharged those batteries okay right now as you can see my lens is the uh, 10 to 18 stm you probably wonder like why did i get that lens i'll tell you why because chris winter and a lot of these older guys chris frost which is the man i like chris frost uh, watch his videos, Chris Frost, okay? He got a lot of great videos about um, lenses and everything, about Canon, Nikon, and whatever. Great videos. Chris Winter, I know the one. Chris Winter, if you're watching, dude, you're the man, all right? Just give me a shout-out one day. Latin Rider, all right? Or Stan, whichever you want to call me. But those, those two guys, I watch the videos. And then, uh, I can't leave this guy out because I've been watching him for like maybe t almost 10 years. Fro Nose Photo. This fucking Afro... Jewish bastard is the man, bro. He's funny as hell, too. He, sniff, he, he does sniffing on his new items. That I just got this today, so I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with that guy, but he's funny as hell, man. Dude, he'll tell you exactly what I just said. It's not about the body lens. It's, it's the, I mean, I'm sorry. It's not about the body. It's the lens that counts, okay? You get good, sharpening, you get good um, sharp lens, you're going to get great images, beautiful images. These STM kits are getting better. I, the reason why I got the 1018 because I seen Chris Winter, Chris Frost, they done videos, and I think Fro knows Photo also did one. I don't remember, but shout out to these three guys, all right? They're the man. I hope they one day mention me in their videos, which I doubt because I'm just a regular guy. But anyhow, they done great videos, man, of 1750, the Sigma that I use, which is a Prime 2.8. Beautiful, beautiful images I get on that, on that lens. Then I used the 10 to 18 because of them. Because they, I saw the pictures they were showing. And I was like, whoa, I got to get this. It's a white lens. It's perfect. So I got it. Then I ended up getting this bad boy, which is the 55 to 250. Okay. The two Chris, Chris Winter and Chris Rose, were talking a lot of crap about this lens. And when I say crap, I mean good crap. Okay. They were getting. So this was my number one lens that I bought for, uh, you know, long zone photography. Which I was going to get the uh, 7300 uh f4 lens from canon um but it's like five six hundred bucks somewhere around there this one's like this one was about 225 to 250 something like that so i ended up getting this one better because of their videos 
that showed me how the image came out when I saw that it was good and then I used it this Saturday at the racetrack and then the images were awesome uh, okay you guys judge it you guys could say it was good great images beautiful images whatever but to me they were awesome okay that's remember it's what you care about what you like and how you feel about it that's what's more important thing so to me they were great awesome you know awesome pictures and everybody that saw those pictures were telling me the same thing like dude Yo, it's a hot, sick pictures. I need that. I need that. That's me. That's me. I need that. I need that. So I, I said, let me, you know, work on them. Let me edit them a little. Black, white, blah, blah, blah. They were like, no, we want them like that. <laughs> so I, I ended up transferring to some of those pictures to a couple of guys that I know that were with us. And they, they happy. They love those images. And they dying for me to go back and take more pictures. So let's see what happens. But I'm still dying to get the 7300 F4. Okay, I don't care about the 2.8 because... I don't shoot in a um, low light situation. I don't shoot at night. I don't. If I shoot at light, then I use my night, uh, you know, um, my light that I bought, the newer, new, newer, newer, I forgot. It's a thin little light. It's kind of big. It's like six by seven, whatever. But anyhow, I could use that, you know, to light up the, the view. And then I use my uh, prime lens, the Sigma uh, 50 to 50 2.8. All right, so remember, on our APS-C sensor, the fitting is actually about 20, I think it is, somewhere around there. No, I'm sorry, 17 to 50. So the 17 becomes about 24, I think it is, something like that, or maybe 28. I think it's up 28, and then the 50 becomes an 80, okay? So now you have a great, great camera. Instead of getting the 24 to 70 on the full frame, now I got the uh, 24, I think it is, to 80, and that's it. That's all I need. And then now I got my other prime lens, which is the 50 millimeter 1.8. Those are my two gold camera um, lenses that I use for events and weddings and, and stuff like that. But when I go out to the tracks, to the racetracks or anything in the daytime, I usually like using the 10 to 18. And also I like to use the uh, 55 to 50, depending on the situation. And if it's a big gathering or whatnot, then I use the 50 to 50 Sigma. And then I also use my um, 10 to 18. I used to use the 50, which is a prime lens, which is great, but I rather use the 10 because I get a you know bigger wide field. All right, so that's basically what is going on. So, like I said, this is what I got on uh, Amazon. Okay, this is a uh, battery dummy. That's basically what they call, it. but it also says coupler. Okay, that's what it is. The DC coupler. This one is the uh, DR E18, which is made for the uh, I think is the T7i also, and the 77D. Okay, and you get that and you're good. Castor is the brand of those batteries I was using, and they last me a long time, and I love them. They are really good. I recommend Castor batteries for anybody. I don't care if you're using the 70D, 80D, 77D, T79. Okay, if you're using any of those, they still sell them for the, for the bigger, you know, batteries, for the bigger, uh, more expensive battery, which is the uh, E something, I forgot, E6. 16 i forgot the, the battery but for canada canon makes but anyhow if you have a 70d 80d 90d which is the latest one the big battery that that one has they actually have those type of batteries they sell them by castar you know it'll be cheaper instead of a canon for 50 70 bucks whatever it is for one you're going to get like two for like you know 35 40 bucks or even less i seen them and i'm like well if i get a full frame one day and that's the battery I'm going to get. I'm going to get two, two of those or even three. So that way I could have four because I have one original Canon and then three Castar. And they sell them. They sell those batteries. But anyhow, uh, this is more about the um, what happened, you know, uh, about the footage and everything that I did. Well, not footage, but pictures. So this is basically about what happened Saturday, about the pictures I took, and about this new item. All right. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys stay safe out there all right any comments let me know whatever just remember don't write anything bad like oh yo dude you need to get a full frame or whatever i don't need to full frame don't worry about full frame i don't worry about it all right i'm happy with the cameras and equipments i use one day i will get a full frame until then i'm not sure yet how much money i want to spend to it and yes it is about the money at the same time it's not about the money because i have the money but i don't really want a full frame for that i'll give me um the m50 it has the same process as my camera and trust me i'll get great beautiful images all i gotta buy is the adapter and put these prime lenses or these lenses into it and i'm good and if i'm gonna go for full frame maybe i'll get the um 61 or two 
and the other two. I'll probably go with the two because it has the 45, you know, focus point. So, and the dual pixel. So, until then, I hope you guys stay safe, wear your mask, be careful, watch out, keep shooting, keep filming, all right? So, catch you guys later. This is Land Rider. I'll show you guys all my images and stuff, right? So, like and subscribe, guys. Land Rider here. Peace out, YouTube.